video, I will be doing the Easter eggs and prediction for season six, episode two of Marvel's Legion of Shield Super War. Spoiler: Not caught up. So I'll be doing with I will be dealing with Fitz's side of the storyline this at the beginning because uh, he wasn't in last episode. So we catch up with him, and he's undercover as an alien species, similar to how he was undercover as an alien bounty hunter uh, throughout the season. And the last time we lot. The last time he was undercover was basically season five, episode six, and he, that was the same episode where he comes into contact with the Zandarian snail, like he does in this episode, and he has this very similar reaction to it of as discuss. So yeah, he referenced that he needs to go back to twenty ninety one, like he thinks he thinks he needs to save the team or whatever, uh, but he really doesn't, and this could be a a reference to a show or whatever because a lot of people had the same thought that I had but when Fitz said cool 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 it felt like it could be a reference to Brooklyn Nine-Nine because the main character in that show had said that multiple times so I could be wrong could be could be right but when uh the whole airlock situation uh to me it felt like a parallel between uh, when he was trapped in the pod in season one, episode 21, trying to convince Ward to not drop them into the ocean. It felt very, very similar, but it ended very differently. So, yeah. But he also mentions uh, that there's a part of him that knows how uncompromising uncom com hateful men can be, which is referring to him in the framework and his dad or whatever. So... And the doctor or whatever. So since the it's uh, the Zandarian snails back from season five, uh, episode six when he was undercover, dealing with how he was dealing with. Uh, we see how he was dealing with his doctor self. There is could be how he's dealing with it now here, but very differently because they've lived different lives. So I wonder how. They're going to deal with the actual Doctor himself this season because I don't think they're going to retread the same storyline over again. But there is another reference to uh, that uh, Season 5, Episode 6 episode where uh, instead of going to Neo Atsia, like what they were planning on doing, was that they decided to go to Kitson, which was referenced in season s the Episode 6 episode episode so there are references to how references to that so i wonder how they're going to deal with the doctor <clears throat> this episode or this season it will be very interesting and like last episode i was uh i had predicted that they would uh that the shield team would be right or would be mad at fit or uh, simmons if Fitz wasn't going to be at neo atzia and he, in this case, it looks like it might be because Neo, he never, he's not, he never went to Neo, he's not at Neo Etsia, but, so, he, Simmons was right, but she also is going to look wrong on the team's, on the team's eyes, in the team's eyes. So, yeah. And what confused me in this episode was exactly when does the space team take place? I, is, I assumed last episode that the the space team and the earth team were taking place at the same time. But since the earth team took place, uh, this episode, a day after the, after the last episode and in Fitz's side, in Fitz's storyline, uh, T Simmons just had arrived in, at Neo Atsia get being teleported there right as, Fitz was leaving, it feels like Fitz's, le uh, Fitz's storyline and F Simmons or the or the Zephyr 1 team is taking place at the same time, but it's not taking place at the same time as Earth team, possibly a couple weeks, months before actually is taking place and they might have a time jump and they will have to explain exactly what has gone, has transpired in that time gap. That's just a theory of mine. Like there might be a time gap between when uh, Earth, the Earth team and uh, 
the space team will collide if that makes if that if I'm under, if I'm able to explain that well. So, yeah. And last episode I if this episode proved me wrong that the controller would be a main villain of the season cuz he seems to be dead. I don't think that he's coming back to life, but there are similar similarities to who controllers in the comics, but not really, like very vague ones at best. But the controller had slaves in the comics, which he's very v willing to have slaves in the show. But I do like how they paired up with paired up the controller with Fitz, because since the controller in the comics was an engineer, which Fitz is here, uh, and that's about it. So s we catch up with Sarge and his team and the Earth team or whatever, and Sarge. Serge's team is at a convenience store, and he's looking through glasses. And we, he's, we, the first thing we see is uh, Colson's famous glasses he wore, but he Sarge Sarge decides to take a different pair, showing the different pair uh, different differences between the two. And uh, we see a little like uh, sh cap shield behind the convenience uh, the. Con the cash, uh, the cashier, and show, just hinting at that. Oh, Coulson was a big fan fanboy of of uh, Cap or whatever. So there's that. But there is a very convenient timing of uh, a a place a placement of an object, and that is the Grumpy Cat mug, which we've seen in a couple episodes of Shield, which was season two and season five of uh and that was i think that was the 100th episode so but the what's convenient is is at right i believe it was the day after it happened this air, this episode aired so it's very convenient timing that that the production dis team decided to put the the grumpy mac grumpy mac grumpy cat uh, mug in uh, in this scene, so yeah, we do hear a new like catchphrase Sarge has apparently because he said it a couple times, which is people fantasize about doing something heroic in time or dramatic in times like these, and it's people are saying or jokingly I'm hoping is that this is going to be like Sarge's new catchphrase, similar to how Coulson said it's a magical place in season one. So, yeah. But on the S.H.I.E.L.D. side, we see that Benson is tasked to figure out who Sarge is or whatever, and how he, he looks like Coulson, how he looks like Coulson, and he mentions a whole bunch of different stuff about fear, uh, fear manifestations, which was from last season, uh, nano masks, which was from season two, uh, the Inhumans, which has been a big part of the whole show, even though they weren't, they didn't show up until season two. They mention... Uh, the LMDs, po a possible theory, which uh, was in season four and season five, and being maybe he was being brought back to lo uh, back from the dead, and uh, Yo Yo ref replies saying that being being brought back from the dead was a hot topic, which sounds like she was referring to as as t talking from experience and not just from hearsay. So I'm assuming she's referring to season five. So, and I, for me, just personally, it feels like all those, like, options feel like a distraction to me, similar to how they used, uh, the option of a fra the framework and the col the deal, the, uh, the deal with, the d Coulson's deal with the devil as options of why they were in space slash time, which they did, they did use those two scenarios in different ways, throughout season five it just that wasn't the case of why they were in space so yeah that's just my opinion and they we see that colson's or sarge's team has similar tech to shield tech which was the cloaking for the bus or the truck and then the bomb they used to destroy the vault was the same bomb or similar bomb that Daisy used to hide the fact that she killed Malik in season three, episode seventeen. So, if Col if Col 
Coulson is dead, and Sarge isn't is a wholly totally different person. Who is Sarge's team? Because the stuff that they say in this episode would go completely against uh, my theory of not be, being brought back to back to life. Because we he does know Coulson's name. He has the same DNA. He refers to Earth as the rock, which is the same phrase that the aliens Cassius use and Lady Basha used in season five. Uh, and he has a really hard, uh, hard, a way of have a hard having a hard time uh, passing as as human or whatever, and on Earth by saying paper money. Uh, uh, or naming, or saying, having a hard time pronouncing names like Dana instead of, or saying Dana instead of Dana. So, and then they refer to Jacko as an old soul, and how Coulson or Sarge hasn't, or Col, or Jacko hasn't breathed, ha haven't smelt, uh, his own home atmosphere in nine years but they refer to the reference reincarnation uh sarge's past life death is just the beginning still uh and he and sarge even says that uh snowflake is wanting to spill spill her your spiritual energy but the biggest thing is that uh, when uh, Benson is looking through uh, this lens or, lens or tech that he got off the guy Tinker, uh, we see Cree writing, and Cree can bring back pe pe people from back from the dead. So that makes me wonder what exactly is going on with Coulson and, and Sarge or whatever. So, comment down below if you have any, any theory of whatsoever what's going on with him. But for my predictions here is, I know it's a really weird one, but uh, it seems like Pax will uh, eventually turn on, Col on Sarge, because he doesn't seem like he likes Sarge that much. But my prediction is that Snowflake might turn on uh, Sarge. It, it would be very weird if it, she did, because she's psycho. But yeah, but yeah, he, we also hear that uh, Sarge might look for replacements or whatever, but so since this episode, uh, we see May take down, like, everyone on uh, Sarge's team, Sarge might go after May and try to recruit her. Uh, so yeah, but the last prediction is, is I have a feeling that Fitzsimmons won't actually get re reunited, like, stay together in next episode, even though they might might be in the same place. We don't know. Uh, it just feels kind of too early right now, so I don't think they're actually going to be reunited at on Kitson. I could be wrong, but, like, I have have been multiple times on this show, but, yeah. Comment down below if you have any predictions whatsoever, and if I missed any Easter eggs or references, see ya.